from our GIS studios, I am Anisia Antoine and this is your midday news brief. The government of St. Lucia has received technical assistance from the United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean ECLAC to support the development of the National Gender Policy Statement and Strategy and the management of gender data in St. Lucia. With the help of ECLAC, the Department of Gender Relations recently held two workshops to help in these processes. Acting Director of Gender Relations, Janie Joseph, explained the importance of data analytics in policy formation. According to ECLAC's Associate Social Affairs Officer, the technical assistance activities will improve the resource capacity of the Department of Gender Relations and specifically contribute to assist the government of St. Lucia in mainstreaming gender in national planning, policies and data, and by so doing, help the country to meet its commitments to the regional gender agenda and related frameworks. St. Lucia will present for the first time its Voluntary National Review VNR, on the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development at the High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development HLPF, in July 2019 under the theme Empowering People and Ensuring Inclusiveness and Equality. The Government of St. Lucia has received a nod of approval from an integral social partner for its efforts in securing new markets for the banana sector. The National Workers' Union, in an issued statement this week, applauded the government's delegation that travelled recently to the United Kingdom in search of new markets for St. Lucia bananas. The trip culminated in some major wins for the banana sector. However, farmers are being encouraged to play their part in ensuring the success. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.